we doing, folks? Your host, Moose, here on the Pitt Panthers Football Network as we welcome you to Heinz Field. The Panthers decked out in their brand new championship gold threads as they take on the team they beat in the ACC championship game last season, the NC State Wolfpack, here at Heinz Field to open their ACC slate. For the season. It should be a great matchup. It's a color rush out here. It's going to look beautiful. And so we're going to take you out to Heinz Field for the fantastic matchup between the number five Pitt Panthers and the NC State Wolfpack. So as we get set to get underway, the Panthers will kick off. Jay Bump, the senior, gets things started. And we are up and underway between Pitt and NC State. Championship gold on the backs of the Panthers today. Gold uniforms, gold helmets, gold pants. It's a it's a good look, I think, actually. It turned out really well for the Panthers. Their first reveal of an alternate uniform here uh, since they reverted back to the royal blue and yellow colors, and I think it turned out spectacular. We're expected to see a couple of other different looks from the Panthers as the season goes on that the uh, athletic director, Heather Lake, has rumored will come out. But the Panthers do have to take on NC State here in the championship gold threads looking to start off their quest for another ACC championship on the right foot here and, eight, and uh, Edwin Baker takes a handoff here from quarterback George McDonald he gets first down yards before he's dragged down from behind I think that was Barry Jenkins with the tackle the senior out of Washington DC as NC State moves the ball past midfield here on their opening drive of the first quarter there's a throw out to Woods Roddy Woods hauls that in for a gain of three the first pass thrown by quarterback George McDonald the redshirt freshman starting in place of senior quarterback Dylan Parham who's been injured since week two with a dislocated knee he's rumored to be out for seven more weeks which should take him out for the majority of the season because of that NC State's pass game and their offense as a whole has really struggled and they're not able to get them off the mark here great tackle by the Panthers in the backfield to force an early punt from the Wolfback where Kenny Pickett will take over for the Panthers he hands off to Todd Sibley he's out in the open field near the 40 pushed out of bounds at about the 41 a 20 yard carry for the redshirt junior Sibley and a big first down on the Panthers first play from scrimmage they want to get this rushing game going to give the offense a bit more diversity they hand off this time to CJ London and he goes for about six. It'll be second and four. Pickett back to pass. Looks underneath. K.J. Welch, the true freshman, had it in his hands, but he had some popcorn before the game. Drops it right there, and it'll be third and four now. Pickett back to pass. NC State rushes four. Pickett rolls out. Nowhere to go. He's going to be hit and sacked. He fumbles the football, and Shug Frazier is on top of it for NC State. We talked about Pickett's turnover troubles. You can see he's wearing that glove on his hand in order to try and help him keep a better hold on the football, both when throwing it and when moving around, but that time nothing he could do. Jefferson came forward and just jarred the football loose, hit right on the ball, comes away. Shug Frazier picks it up, and NC State in great field position looking to counter and get on board for uh, the first points of the game, but A.J. Nugent goes nowhere on a, a, an angle route there, loses three, and so it'll be third and six, and McDonald felt some pressure, just skied it away in the direction of Kaiser Artist Scott, and so NC State will have to settle for an early field goal attempt. That kick is up. It has the distance, but it's wide to the right, and so the game will remain scoreless. Some other action around the NCAA. Oregon beat Colorado barely to remain unbeaten. A last-ditch touchdown for the Ducks gave them the win. Oklahoma State losing as well, so some some big upsets. Virginia also on the, the verge of losing to Boston College as well. Pickett able to get outside the pocket here on first down though. Great juke to get around one man. It's a big run for Kenny. 27 yards. He's across midfield and the Panthers inside of NC State territory for the first time today. Kenny back to pass on first and 10. He's going to go backwards on the football's out again. CJ London though was Johnny on the spot or Big Ben on the spot <laughs> should we say. Uh, English puns there. That's funny because his last name's London, but Pickett fumbled, and so London was able to recover the football and at least keep the ball in the possession of the Panthers, and they get a lot of that yardage back. Todd Sibley up the middle for 15, makes it a manageable third and five. Kenny in the shotgun. He's back. Plenty of time as NC State only rushes three. He looks underneath. He's got his favorite target, the sophomore Jay Keys, for a gain of 10 and a first down for the Panthers. Pickett back to pass. Again, NC State drops eight into coverage. They run a zone there, and Pickett
Pickett just times it out, finds Paul Lease as he comes open in between two zones. He has first down yardage, and the Panthers are in the red zone. Pickett back to pass, rolls to his right, and a corner blitz comes off the edge. That was Mark Robeson who leveled Pickett for a huge loss of 14, and so it'll be second and 24. Pickett rolling to his right now, throws across his body. That's Caleb Cannon, the redshirt junior tight end who plays out wide for the Panthers as well. Hauls it in. He'll set up third and 13. Kenny, back to pass. Looks. Has a man open. It's Jay Keys, And he's into the end zone. The Panthers strike first. They draw first blood. And it's that man, Keys. He is a dangerous, dangerous man. Jay Keys runs a perfect route. Kenny, what a throw, though, you have to say from Pickett. He threw this before Keys had even broken out of his route. Keys turned. The ball was right there when he looked. Hauled it in, and all he had to do was fight through a tackle and get into the end zone. And the Panthers break open the scoring, taking a 7-0 lead here in the first quarter. And that's going to be McDonald looking underneath his favorite target, Terrence Hill. The senior receiver hauls that in for a gain of 9. It'll be second and 1. McDonald decides to keep it himself on a quarterback read option. Goes for 4, and it's a first down for the Wolfpack. Baker in as the sidecar to McDonald. He fakes the handoff to him. RPO nearly intercepted. RPO nearly INT as Chase Pine gets his hands up and deflects the football away there. It'll be third and seven now for the Wolfpack. McDonald back to pass. Has a man. That's Terrence Hill wide open. Kaiser Artist Scott lays the wood on him, but he does have first down yardage. Great little comeback route called there. Moss goes in motion. Instead, it's going to go to Baker and a great tackle by Jacob Lachlan. Sets the edge there and hauls down Baker for a gain of nothing. Third and 10 now as the Wolfpack load the uh, wide side of the field and nowhere to go. McDonald completely missed. I think he was looking maybe for Hill uh, on that outside area, but he couldn't find him. Throws it away until Pitt gets the football back. But third down, five wide set for Kenny. He rolls out to the right. Nobody open for Pitt. Eventually, he gets hit as he throws. Was looking for Paul Lees crossing the field deep. Couldn't find him. And the Panthers give the football right back to the Wolfpack. And they start off brightly. It's Edwin Baker up the middle. 18 yards up the gut. Great carry. Their best run of the day and they're back into pit territory here. Second and four, McDonald's keeps it himself. He goes out wide net. Scott Whaley coming across the field. The freshman corner who's been playing kind of a nickel role for the Panthers. He's almost played like a, a third safety or a nickel corner. He'll be in coverage. He'll come forward on a blitz, and he's been very impressive so far. But Baker fighting forward through the tackle of Avery Heller gets NC State a first down as Pitt's leading 7-0 at the end of the first quarter. The Wolfpack will start out the second, though, with Thaddeus Moss coming in motion. They're going to hand off in the direction he moved. It's going to go to A.J. Nugent. He nearly fights through a tackle. If he could have got away from Lachlan there, he would have been off to the races. But Lachlan does haul him down after a gain of five. McDonald back to pass. Pitt rushes four. He's got a man wide open. That's Roddy Woods, the tight end. He's inside the 10, gain of 11, and it's first and goal to go for the Wolfpack. Moss in motion. They run it in his direction. It's A.J. Nugent. Nowhere to go, though. The Panthers swarm him. Good job by Damian Vector coming coming forward and taking his legs out in order to force him to the ground. They run that way again. It's Nugent. He's caught from behind by Ronnie Baker, the junior defensive end. It'll be third and goal now for the Wolfpack. Motion again from Moss as McDonald's back to pass. Jailbreak blitz from the Panthers. It's Avery Heller from his safety position rushing forward and slamming the quarterback to the ground as they tried to set up the screen. And thankfully, he wasn't able to get the pass off. So NC State does get on the board for the first time with a field goal. And Pitt will lead 7-3 here early in the second quarter. Second and six. Pickett making a change at the line. He's back to pass. Has a man coming free. It's Benjamin Ogden over the middle. Picks up a gain of seven and moves the sticks for the Panthers. Second and four now for Kenny. Three wide set with London to his side. London stays into block. He looks. It's Ogden again over the middle. Great catch there by the red shirt junior. The big target who is expected to be a deep threat for the Panthers this year. That hasn't really turned into anything, but he's done a nice job making some catches over the middle. Sibley there goes for a gain of seven. Helps pick up a first down for the Panthers yet again. Methodically moving the football down the field. Kenny back to pass. Pressure comes. He stands in there. Takes a hit. Some bravery shown by Pickett there. And he finds his favorite man, that guy, Jay Keyes. Great catch there from Keyes for a big gain on 19 that moves the chains. The Panthers in the red zone now. It's Sibley going forward. Look at him powering through a couple of tacklers. Picks up a gain of 13. Jay Keyes now in that heavy set. He's been known to run it from here. He fakes a handoff to Ogden, keeps it himself, and Keyes is into the end zone. A four-yard carry. That's how they love to use his frame. 6'4", 233 pounds. He can run. He can catch. He can do it all, and he's into the end.
the end zone for the second time today. Great play call by the Panthers. They faked the handoff to Ogden on the end around, and North Carolina State bit on that. They leveled Ogden in the backfield, but it gave Keys the entire freedom to go forward. And another big play by the Panthers there. It's a Darion Mitchell, the sophomore linebacker. He hasn't had much of an impact this year because the Panthers have three senior linebackers that they've let see the field for the majority of the time. But he does make a nice tackle uh, to set NC State up with poor field position as they now face third and one. Terrence Hill goes in motion. They don't give it to him. And Chase Pine is into the backfield, brings down McDonald. Old McDonald. Donald had a farm, and it was full of three and outs. Pitt will take the football back. 14-3 lead as it's C.J. London juking a couple defenders out of their shoes, spinning forward and being cartwheeled to the ground after a nice pickup of nine. Second one, five wide set. Pickett rolling out to his right. Has a man underneath. That's Benjamin Ogden. Again, not being too much of a deep threat, even though he does have probably the best speed of any receiver that the Panthers are playing so far this year. But... He's able to get first down yard at second and ten. It's a screen set up to C.J. London. He goes for only a short gain. This will be third and long for the Panthers. Pickett rolling out to his right. Plenty of time as he looks, surveys the field. He's going deep. He's got a man. It's K.J. Welsh, and Welsh can't fight through. And it's going to be Nick McLeod who comes away with the football. Welsh was there. It looked like a good throw by Pickett, only his third incompletion of the day. But Welsh just wasn't the man to come down with it. He lost the physical battle to McLeod, and so North Carolina, Carolina State takes over at their own 10. McDonald back to pass, and it's intercepted. Pitt takes the football right back. Kaiser Artis Scott, the senior corner, finally plays takeaway for the first time this year as he jumps in front of that pass and gives Pitt the football at about the 24-yard line. Great field position for the Panthers. It worked out in their favor. That was about a 30-yard swing between their interception and NC State's interception, and they're moving it forward even further. C.J. London up the middle goes up the gut for a gain of 10, but after a short loss on a Keys carry, it'll be third and three. Pickett has a man. That's London underneath. He's dragged down like a rag doll, but just does fall forward for four yards and gives the Panthers a first down. Second and 13 now for Pickett. He's back to pass. Blitz coming from NC State, but he's got a man. It's Antonio Greer. They went to try and knock the football down and missed, and it allowed Greer to haul that in. Sure hands, and Pitt scores their third touchdown of the first half. Look at the pressure that was coming in on Pickett. Again, he stands in there, takes the hit. He's taken an absolute beating this season, but he finds his tight end, Antonio Greer, and the junior hauls that in for a touchdown. Pitt leading by 18, trying to take that into half time and that's a great sack off the edge by the Panthers 20 seconds to play now in the second quarter McDonald he hands off it's Baker nowhere to go Heller comes up and slams him down in the backfield that'll take us into the half Pitt currently leading NC State 21 to 3 here on the Pitt Panthers football network a great half of football for your Pitt Panthers move the football very very well and if they can clean up the play again two turnovers on three uh, lost footballs from Pickett if they can retain the football they're putting together a fantastic performance one of their best of the entire season so far So as we welcome you back, the second half of football set to get underway on the Pitt Panthers Football Network. Your number five Pitt Panthers leading NC State 21-3 and starting things off with a handoff to Jay Keys on the jet sweep goes for about two. It's going to set up second and eight. So Pitt looking to continue their positive movement offensively. A good balance between the rushing attack and the passing attack for the Panthers shown in the first half resulting in three touchdowns. Pickett decides to keep it here on the read option, third and short, and he's not going to be able to get there. Played perfectly by the Wolfpack, and so they'll take over with great field position here, looking to cut down the Panthers' 18-point advantage. And it's going to be Edwin Baker. He's able to be corralled and brought down by Kaiser Artis Scott after rumbling forward for about 13 first down for NC State across midfield. Baker, though, able to uh, just 
completely wriggle out of a couple of tackles there. Very impressive run, but only goes for a pickup of five. McDonald now on a screen. He's got him in. That's CJ Riley and a great tackle. Cedric Granger knife through the blockers and brings him down after a loss of one. McDonald back to pass. Pitt only rushes four. He's got a man on the comeback. It's going to be dropped, though, by Riley. He was feeling the pressure after taking a big hit on the last play. It might have been in the back of his mind, and he drops that, and so NC State will be forced to punt the football away, and Pitt moves it fantastically forward. C.J. London, nice bit of running there for a gain of 17. Pickett under center. He's back on second down. Stays in the pocket. Looks underneath. Was I don't know if he's looking for Paul Least there, but McLeod's able to come forward and knock it away. So third and nine for the Panthers. Five wide set. Kenny back. Rolls to his right. Pressure comes. Has a man. That's Jay Keys. Great job by Pickett. Able to get the football out as he felt the pressure coming. And Keys with the sure hands brings it in. Second and seven. It's Paul Lease now. And he is going to be brought down in the backfield. Great tackle coming forward by the NC State defense. They had that red all the way and sniffed out. So it's third and long for Pitt. Pickett. Pressure coming. Nowhere to go for Kenny. Loss of 15 as Justin Brown comes forward. Makes his second consecutive tackle for a loss. Big sack there. He brought the blitz right up the middle. He was never picked up at all by the Panthers and it's a big loss giving NC State the football back. Baker goes forward for a nice gain there setting up another first down. McDonald fakes the screen this time and finds Riley on the slant. Great play call there. They looked like they were running a screen to the halfback instead they throw it to Riley on the slant and he gets first down yards. Riley motioning into the backfields. They set up the triple option. He takes the football and Jacob Lachlan comes forward and makes a nice tackle. Gain of nine for the Wolfpack across midfield second and one. Hand off to Baker, and that's going to be Scott Whaley coming, knifing through the middle. Like we said, he looks like a young Paul Amalu sometimes coming off the edge. Incredible job from him. Great pursuit and makes a great tackle. And again, Whaley's able to bring Baker down the backfield. That's a loss of nine on two consecutive plays, and Pitt will get the football back here midway through the third quarter. And it's going to be Sibley takes the handoff motion out to the right, picks up a nice gain of six, second and four now for the Panthers. Kenny back to pass here, looks underneath. He's got his man. That's K.J. Welsh holding onto the football this time and picking up a gain of four and first down for the Panthers. Sibley checks in as the sidecar to pick it. He takes the handoff on the counter. Nice job weaving his way around the blocker. That was Ryan Henry holding off the NC rush, and Sibley has first down yardage. Second and two, pick it, back to pass, play action. He's going to look deep has a man that's Jay Keys but it's defended very well Tim Kid Glass comes over in the senior safety does a nice job keeping Keys out of the end zone for the third time tonight Pickett rolling to his right on third down throws it underneath that's Keys nice spin move to get away from a couple of tackles fights through another one he's inside the 20 21 yard catch and run from Jay Keys incredible body control the spin put two defenders on the ground he fought through two other tackles and picked up a great gain and then Keith on Yango hauls that one in it's his first career touchdown for the redshirt freshman He's probably the fastest guy the Panthers have at receiver, and he was able to use that speed to get away from his defender. Pickett with a beautiful throw to Onyango, and he's into the end zone, and Pitt is up 28-3. to Now, we don't want to get any ideas. We all know what happened in that Super Bowl, New England and Atlanta, but I don't think we have those same two teams on the field today. Pitt looking comfortable for the victory as it stands right now. Keith on Yango with his first touchdown and a great catch there from Terrence Hill gain a 20. Avery Heller looks set to intercept that and Hill came flying forward to make a great catch. First and 10, it's going to be Roddy Woods, the tight end. Great job there finding some space out near the sideline and running forward for a gain of 16. So NC State reverting to the passing game. McDonald showing some composure now. Finally, he's got his man. That's Deshaun Stevens for a gain of 7. It'll be third and 3. Hicks goes in motion here McDonald hands it off though to Baker nowhere to go up the middle Chase Pine comes forward again great tackle by the redshirt senior linebacker and the Wolfpack despite being down 25 choose to just kick the field goal and make it a three possession game here taking us to the start of the fourth quarter your Pitt Panthers leading the NC State Wolfpack 28 to 6 here on the Pitt Panthers football network
So we start the fourth quarter off a second and five for the Panthers here. They send K.J. Welsh in motion to the backfield. Pickett decides to keep it a little bit of an option type route there, but nobody came open for the Panthers. He's going to be sacked by Brock Miller, and it's third and 14 now for Pitt. Jay Keys goes in motion. Pickett rolling out to his right. He's pursued by a plethora of NC State defenders, but finds a man. What a catch. That's Jay Keys yet again. Gain of 17 as he tiptoes near the sidelines and gets a first down for the Panthers. Third and six. Kenny back to pass. Nowhere to go though as he's pursued up the middle. Great rush from NC State. The Panthers offensive line just can't hold today. Six sacks while the Panthers have just a single takedown of NC State quarterback George McDonald here and they'll take over following a pit punt. McDonald back to pass. Looking and the Panthers bring the pressure. That's going to be Ronnie Baker. Sean Wolfgang was there as well. Great sack there by the junior. We just talked about Pitt had only one sack on the day. It was Wolfgang, and now Baker's got their second, but on third and nine, great job finding Clement on the out there. Gain of 15, and the Wolfpack have a new set of downs. McDonald back to pass. Pitt, Pitt brings the pressure. Wolfgang can't bring him down, and just like that, Clement is open for a 14-yard grab. You don't see Sean Wolfgang whiff on a sack all too often, but he does there, and it's Clement again on first down. His third straight reception. NC State moving the football nicely here early in the fourth. McDonald fakes the handoff. No, he's going to give it to Baker this time. Looked like a read option. Instead, Baker keeps it, and it's a nice gain of about 10 before the Panthers haul him down at the eight. Second in inches for the Wolfpack. McDonald keeping it on the option. He's got the first down. He's got more. He's into the end zone. An eight-yard touchdown run for the redshirt freshman. And just like that, North Carolina State within two scores, down 16. They'll go for two to try and make it a 14-point game. McDonald back to pass. The Panthers bring the pressure but he offloads it to Brett Sutton a great throw and all of a sudden 28 to 14 the Panthers lead and maybe they're feeling just an ounce of pressure here Pickett back to pass on second down looks underneath that's Paul Lease gain of six for the junior over the middle and it'll be third and four now Pickett back to pass rolls to his right pressure comes has to offload it can't get it to his man and a three and out for the Panthers NC State with a bunch of momentum here and an opportunity to try and make it a one score game and Edwin Baker rumbling through the middle of the field great blocking there for a pickup of 12 up to about the 30 play changed at the line by McDonald dumps it off great defense there Damian Vector Riley tried to get a hand out on it but great coverage by Damian Vector to bring him down and knock that football away third and seven now they run the screen nowhere to go for Baker he's hitting the backfield that was pine and eventually Avery Heller comes forward and cleans up loss of 11 great team defense by the Panthers there and they have the football now near midfield pick it Gets the snap, rolling out to his right, pressured by Frazier, throws it back across his body. There's Ogden. Great job by Pickett, keeping his eyes downfield as he evaded the pressure. He's up near 250 yards passing on the day. Five wide set for Kenny. He looks, has a man over the middle. That's K.J. Welsh, and the freshman has a big gain of 20 there. Pitt inside the red zone now, down to about the 12. Sibley in as the sidecar to pick it. He does hand it off to Sibley. He finds his way to fall forward. It's going to set up about third and two after his pickup of six. Clock winds inside of three minutes to play. Dual halfback look. Pickett gives it to Sibley, and the Panthers can't hold their blocks up the middle. Sibley's brought down for no gain, and Pitt will settle for the field goal as the clock winds inside two minutes, and they push their lead back to three scores. That should just about do it for any hope of an NC State comeback effort here. The Wolfpack do have McDonald back to pass. They send their receivers deep. He's going to heave it. Heller looks to be there, and Heller just lost the football. Deshaun Stevens for a 55-yard grab. That should have been an interception. You have to think for Avery Heller, and he just lost the football. I don't know what happened there, but he misread it. And so McDonald back to pass. Nowhere to go, though. Wolfgang slides off him, but Darren Toth cleans up. Loss of six as he gets the sack there. McDonald back to pass. Panthers rush five. Pressure comes away, and again, Toth cleans up a great job there the Panthers had McDonald dead to rights and Toth gets his second consecutive sack third and 24 now they just set up a screen to Baker the Panthers are happy to let him have a few yards but they wrangle him down fourth and 16 now a minute to play this surely has to be the ball game for NC State McDonald back to pass they send the receivers deep he's looking he's looking nowhere to go though as Wolfgang jars the football loose it looked like it might have been a fumble they rule it incomplete and your Pitt Panthers are going to come away with a 31 to 14 victory confirming their dominance over the NC State 
Great Wolf Pack living up to the performance that they put in in the ACC Championship game last year and giving the championship gold jerseys a great first run out. Pitt, 31 NC State 14 player of the game Jay Keys a solid effort by the Panthers overall great job by Kenny Pickett bouncing back from a, his first couple drives which were tough the defense looked great again very nice performance these youngsters are doing very very well the run defense has been okay but it's been enough to get the job done the pass defense has been very very good so a great victory for the Panthers 31 14 thanks as always for watching guys hail to pit and we'll see you soon take care bye bye